Welcome back. We're going to show you uh, one new last thing about arrays here. And this last thing is something that every array has. And it has a built-in variable called length that tells you how many slots the array contains. Uh, in the future, you're actually going to be working with arrays that are sort of given to you by the program, and you won't necessarily know how big the array is. It might be getting bigger, smaller over time. So if you ever need to know how big that array is, you just name the array and go dot length. Okay, it's a variable that's a member of an array object. And so you'll see in our example here, when I made nums, I made it with 10 slots. So this basically reads k is less than 10, which is exactly what you want there to cover all the items in the array. Uh, it's much better to use this notation as opposed to writing the number 10, because if you ever want to reuse this code again and your array is a different size other than 10, you have to go back and start changing numbers like, oh no, now it's 15, oh no, now it's 16. That's annoying. So the better thing to do is just write it as nums.length. You never have to go back and change. You start at zero and you stop just before the slot you're not supposed to go to. You'll see here all I'm doing is doubling the numbers right inside the loop. So that's one thing using dot length. Another little note about dot length, which is also useful, is if you know that the size of the array is nums.length, then you know the last slot in the array is slot nums.length minus one. So if you think about this, if our task was put 999 at the very end of our list or our array, all you have to do, well, nums.length was 10, 10 minus one is nine, and nums nine, you know that nums nine is the last slot in the array. So it works out really nicely. Unfortunately for you, yeah, you have to remember the whole minus one. Don't do that. That says, hey, nums, go to slot 10. And you know there is no slot 10. Okay, so minus one there.